Right, so one of the most common questions that I've ever gotten actually is, how do you add people to your renders? So I don't know why I haven't done a video on this yet, but here's how you do this. Here's an example of what I'm gonna show you. So here is a render I just finished. There's a bunch of people in here. I'll just show you like what I did to get this. So there's two main ways of doing this that I use. The first one is just get models and I'll show you where to get that in a second. And then the second one is use my favorite technique, slapping a picture of a person onto an image plane or a picture of whatever onto an image plane to get the result. So let's just jump into the blend file and I'll kind of just show you what's going on here. So here's the file, it's a little bit messy, but there's a lot of stuff outside the camera view that doesn't really matter, so don't worry about that. What I wanna show you is uh, this stuff down here. So if we look at this, these guys on the right, uh, not me, like this is actually a picture of me in the middle. Uh, Ignore that one for now, we'll get to that later, but all, all these guys around here are just models that I've bought <clears throat> from CG Trader. So all you do is go to this site right here, CG Trader or Turbo Squid. they're kind of the same-ish thing. So yeah, you literally just type in the word people in the search bar and you'll see there's a bunch of stuff that comes up here. Some of them are like pretty expensive and then some are cheaper. So, you know, I, I always find that the ones that are uh, static, like don't, that aren't, uh, or aren't rigged, the ones that are just completely still and you can't really move them, those ones are gonna be a lot cheaper and that's just usually what, what I like to use anyways because you don't have to pose them. You can find stuff for pretty cheap here. Uh, if you don't wanna spend any money, there are some free ones. If you do use the free ones though, you, you will start to notice that like a lot of people use those free ones and you'll kind of see them everywhere, but uh, they're fine to use if you find them. And then what I've been doing recently is just buying packs of, or I guess I've only bought one pack of just crowds of people. So. This just makes it a lot nicer to instantly drag and drop, uh, like you'll see here, drag and drop uh, just a thing like this. So if you want, like this pack comes with a bunch of regular standard models. These ones are all low poly, but you can get nicer ones. Or if you just drag and drop one of these crowds in, you can see you just put that in and then boom, instantly there's just a crowd of people. So that's exactly what I did in here, like with all these, just pre-made crowds, perfect for just really quickly filling up a city street or something like that. This is the kind of thing where the, the more you spend, the better stuff you're gonna get generally. Uh, but like I said, there are free ones if you don't wanna spend any money. I'm not, I, I will leave a link to this one below, but I'm not like affiliated or anything with these guys. I'm just, this is just the one that I happen to buy. Um, yeah. And then also I've just bought a bunch of individual models as well. So like um, a bit higher poly, just more detail, nicer. Just get whatever makes sense for you. Like most of the time you don't need anything extremely high detailed or super crazy, but just something that's okay, and these, that's what this pack is. It's perfect for that, just low poly stuff. Okay, so let me show you this thing in the middle here. So uh, that's this guy right here, which is actually me. So if I just go to render view and just show you what this is. Okay, so this is literally just a picture of me that I just randomly took really quick and just slapped it on a plane. So that's where this technique is really nice because you know, you don't have to get a, a photo scan of yourself or a photo scan of like some random thing or buy a model or whatever. You just get any picture and just slap it onto a plane. Uh, in Photoshop, just remove the background. There's, a, I think there's a new button now where you just literally click like select subject and it just does it. And then you can just delete the background, pretty easy. Um, and then all you do is you take that, if you've deleted the background and it's just transparent, you'll have now the alpha channel and then just take the alpha, run that into the alpha of the principal shader and then that'll just cut out. If there's a transparent background, it'll just cut it out. And then there you go. And you just, all you do is put it on a plane, make it facing the camera this, you know, this one only works if the camera's kind of directly facing the person. So uh, obviously if you start like moving around, it's not gonna be uh, like, you're gonna be able to tell that it's just a 2D plane. So just don't have the camera at like a, a weird angle or anything and you'll be fine. As long as it's like facing head on, it's it's totally good. Um, yeah, and then, I so usually I try not to do this because it's uh, it doesn't always match up with the camera, but once in a while I do. Usually I'll just take a, a model of like one singular person like this and just drop that in and then have that there instead. So uh, yeah, just go to CG Trader or Turbo Squid or whatever other 3D site you want. Just download some cheap-ish models and then there you go. Just throw them in the asset browser. And then any, anytime you need a person, you just go in here, make a folder and then you're good to go. And I don't think I need to say anything else. I have a course available. Uh, it comes with three asset packs. You've probably seen it. If you want to check that out, link below. And that's it, I think. Okay, hopefully, yeah, hopefully that was useful and I'll see you around, bye.